Hey, this is Brett, and this 2022 Ram 2500 Crew Cab Short Box Laramie Level A Night Edition is stock number 14048Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used heavy duty truck and Ram headquarters. This 2022 Ram 2500 has the 6.4 liter V8 gas. Hemi engine, puts out 410 horsepower. It's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. This truck has a max tow capacity of 14,759 pounds and a max payload capacity of 3,020 pounds. Found those on Ram's tow guide website. I'll link that in the description below. This truck in particular has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. And this truck is 100% ready to go. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, start it up, and take a look under the hood to give you the most accurate representation of the vehicle possible. Bright white clear coat is the color. I shoot all my videos in 4K, and if you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and heavy duty truck walkarounds on YouTube, 8,000 videos and counting. This one comes with the 20 inch painted black alloy wheels and it has Firestone Transforce LT285 60R20 tires. I would say they have probably 70, 60, 70% 70 of the tread left on them. Frame and underbody is exceptionally clean. This one was always owned in Utah. Has a clean Carfax, clean title history and is really nice all the way around. You get the LED headlamps, LED running lights and the LED fog lamps. I'm gonna turn all those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are because they do look really good and they are super bright. Get the gloss black grill. You also get a very nice clean hood, no dents or dings on there. Passenger side front fender is in fantastic condition. You get those fender flares with the Laramie package and the passenger side front wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes on there. Now, as you go down this side of this 2022 Ram 2500, take note of how clean that body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you're far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the truck, you can see the truck, hear the truck, and then have the confidence um, in the vehicle to make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that smart and informed buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful, and that Brett sent you. The back wheel is in excellent shape as well, no scuffs or scrapes, and the back tires have just as much tread as the front tires. Frame and underbody looks really good. Once again, probably because it's been in Utah its whole life. It's like that all the way underneath, and it does have the power running boards. Lower rockers all look really good. I'll show you that the passenger side is working nicely. Those are AMP Research running boards and they do have some LED lights on there as well. Going down the rest of the side of the passenger side box here, no dents or dings on that. Get the LED tail lamps, the rear bumper is in great shape, no dents or dings on there. And it does have the full towing package which includes a receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. You also get the backup parking sensors on there too. Tailgate is in very nice condition. Has a shock down assist tailgate. I'm guessing it has the power drop down tailgate as well. Comes with a WeatherTech bed mat. That's in pretty nice shape and it has been uh, screwed down. You do get a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in back here. Now I don't think this one has the fifth wheel or gooseneck prep package, so it's just a solid bed underneath there. Uh, you get that WeatherTech mat that goes onto the tailgate as well. And that shuts nice and solidly. Going down the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side. No dents, no dings on there. Looks really, really good. And for full disclosure, this back wheel, just as nice as the rest. Cab and doors all look fantastic on this truck. This one does have the heated fold up tow mirrors, built in directional signals. They fold up like so, fold in like that. They also have LED side lights on them. I'll show you those in just a second. Take a quick look at the back seats. 
You do get the latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. Power sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. You get the gray piping on there. It's leather and suede. Uh, these seats fold up. You get a load floor back here, which is nice. If you've got muddy boots or tools, put them on there. You're not going to ruin your nice leather and suede seats. Or if you've got pets, put both sides down. And then they got a nice flat place to lay. And once again, they're not going to ruin your nice leather and suede seats. Storage under the driver's side. The other side has a factory subwoofer. You get the Berber floor mats back here. USB and USB-C hookups, as well as 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. And then you get in-floor storage with removable bins for easy cleaning. You can put ice and drinks in there. And it's like you have too many coolers wherever you go, or if you're not in Wisconsin, just extra storage space. You do get side curtain airbags on there as well. And child safety locks on the back doors inside and bottoms of the doors all look fantastic on this truck. Show you the VIN sticker, as long as I'm standing right here. No Canadian trucks here. Tire and loading information sticker. And uh, inside, the Laramie Level A package gives you the black leather and suede bucket seats in the front as well. You also get the Laramie stitched into the backrest, and you get the gray piping throughout. Both these front seats are heated and cooled. You get the Berber floor mats up here as well. Auto headlamps, power pedals, power windows, locks, and mirrors. Suede inserts on the door, kind of that diamond plated looking finish to the door there as well. These mirrors do power fold in. I always like showing both sides so that you know that both sides are working properly. And you also get a memory driver's seat. Last but not least, you get the uh, power blind spot mirror. So if you look at that mirror on the outside, you can see that that is moving. That's really nice, especially for the passenger side mirror. You can adjust that while you're sitting in the truck. Let's hop inside, take a look at the miles, radio, and everything that this one has to offer on the interior. You can see this one has 14,362 miles. You do get the nice seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, uh, water temp, oil temp, uh, transmission temp. You can change all those corners to read whatever you want, miles per gallon, time, radio station, whatever. So instrument cluster is very nice and clean, smells very clean inside this truck. I don't think it's ever been smoked in. You get cruise control and gear selector on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, audio controls in the back, and the steering wheel is, as you can see, leather wrapped and heated. Push button start, push button four wheel drive, your eight speed automatic transmission. This one does have the Uconnect 5 radio. It's uh, run on Android and it's supposed to be like five times faster than the old one. Uh, you get the factory navigation system on there. There's Highway 41, so that is working nicely. You also get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You can do your climate controls here as well, including your dual climate controls. And uh, you can also do your heated and cooled seat buttons and heated steering wheel controls there as well. You get all these different apps on here, uh, including the cameras and everything and off-road pages those are pretty cool i'll show you those you get steering angle so as you can as i turn that steering wheel that angle changes you also get latitude longitude and altitude and if your transfer case is in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive you get your di different accessory gauges and pitch and roll right there uh, obviously we got to be in gps signal for the pitch and roll to work uh, we're inside the building right now, so that doesn't work too well. Uh, but we can check out the backup camera, and you can see just how crystal clear that is. They made those HD when they uh, redid the RAM in 19, nice and crystal clear. And you can zoom in on your receiver hitch. I think the truck's got to be on for that to work. Uh, but that's a really nice system as well, so you can get hooked up to your boat, camper, or trailer the first time, every time, and then just all your other... Um, apps on there. You can do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. Down here is your factory brake controller, stability control, tow haul mode, and you can turn those front and rear parking sensors off. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack, and down there is a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. Keyless entry, remote start, and it does have the power drop-down tailgate like I suspected. Passenger side floor mat and seat are in fantastic condition as well. No rips or tears in there. Once again, I don't think this truck's ever been smoked in and the headliner is in great shape you get those speakers in the ceiling part of that premium alpine sound system assist in sos buttons and power slide and rear window controls power drop down tailgate and map lights there 
home link buttons for your garage doors, security systems, and lighting systems, and there's the Alpine badge, so you know you got the good sound system. All right, let's start it up, take a look under the hood. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that, other than my hood's open. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. There's the LED lights on the side there, they are super bright. And hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the quality, condition, options, and of course cleanliness of this truck all the way around inside and out. All those lights are working very nicely. And under the hood, we have the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. Once again, this truck has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop. Has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off, and it is 100% ready to go. Those shocks are doing a nice job holding that hood up. There's the emission sticker. Of course, this one's got all the remaining factory bumper to bumper and powertrain warranty. And uh, I would highly recommend this truck from a quality and condition standpoint. I'd ship this one to California, Texas, New York, Florida, wherever. Whoever's going to get it is going to love it. So to a family member, I'd buy it myself. Uh, it's that nice. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got to go to that website right there. SummitAuto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle. All at SummitAuto.com. If you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to YouTube.com slash SummitAuto. Click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and heavy duty truck walkarounds on YouTube. 8,000 videos and counting. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Ram 2500 truck videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean 2022 Ram 2500 crew cab short box Laramie Level A night edition in bright white clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.